I'm, I know that this sector should be overwhelming now because it's like everybody's trying to get it to eat, everybody's trying to understand it and try to follow one thing or the other. If you're doing electronics, communication, whatever part you're in, everybody's trying to find out more how they can use it as we heard in the video, like turn their problems into opportunities. And so are, are you guys overwhelmed with what you're doing and what is the reaction from people towards what you're proposing? Are they seeing that it is actually enhancing what, like looking for solutions to get uh, their problems because that will really be a plus in what they want. Ab absolutely. Um, I'm just going to give uh, concrete examples mm -hmm. for some of the amazing solutions we've been able to implement. If you take uh, in the domain of uh, environment, we've gotten a, a, a client who's actually working with uh, the Africa Development Bank. And their solution was a very, very interesting one. It was a solution where they had to look for opportunities to get rid of uh, waste and flooding in the environment. So w our engineers, we had to uh, work with them to be able to devise the best solution to do this. And we had to use both uh, AI and drone technologies. Now, if just uh, by mentioning this, it already explains exactly what I meant when I said we provide solutions and not products because mm -hmm. drone technologies is a whole different technology. Yeah. You've got drone companies who mm -hmm. are IT companies. Mm -hmm. And then you've got AI, which is a whole different, different kind of technology. So we had to bring, we had to merge both of them. And what did we do? So this, um, uh, this client had actually imagined and asked us if there is going to be a possibility for us to be able to detect areas where, areas which are flooded and for us to be able to unclog the drainage in those areas because flooding is mostly caused by poor drainage systems Definitely. yeah if we're crossing by uh, on the wrong point mm -hmm. bridge right now on mm -hmm. the bonaberry bridge right now mm -hmm. it rained tremendously yesterday and <laughs> there was a little bit of flooding there the reason for that flooding was because the drainage system on the bridge wasn't the best mm -hmm. and the drainage system wasn't the best because uh, they were, uh, the, the bridge was actually polluted with plastic with bottles yep. and so when it rains the rain carries the plastic and the bottles and clogs up those areas. So they wanted to find out the areas which are having this problem most. Now, if you want to send people to the field to do this, it's going to be difficult. For the bridge, it's going to be easy. But what about areas like uh, the, the River Uri, for example? Mm -hmm. There are drainage All passages. Along. Exactly. Definitely. It's going to be difficult. Complicated. Exactly. So what it did was... Um, because I even know that area is swampy. There are certain areas people are not even going to be able to pass. I don't think you will even be able <laughs> to get there. And it's dangerous. Yeah, definitely. The River Uri, I'm, I'm guessing, is very deep. So yeah. <laughs> it should be very difficult. So what we did is we actually had to use drones to fly over the area mm -hmm. but still using drones it will be difficult to detect and know that this is a vulnerable area and this is not a vulnerable area because the drone is going to be flying for a very long time mm -hmm. and uh, you have to sit down and look at the images very deeply now the solution we brought here was that we took the images of those drones and we used what is called image recognition technology it's an ai technology to be able to detect areas which had the most amount of waste clogging those areas now, with that image recognition technology, what the, if the drone is going to be flying over an area, no matter how f far up that drone is, the AI technology can actually zoom into the image and detect objects as small as a bottle oh. and actually tell you that, okay, uh, maybe there are close to 100 bottles in this area. There are close and to even tells you the number. It could tell you the... Actually, it can, it, it's going to identify it, distinguish it, mm -hmm. and tell you that... Not just about, except that it's really crowded. Mm -hmm. You could tell if it's one bottle or two bottles or three bottles, as a matter of fact. Wow. And this was uh, a very huge project. I, I think um, it got funded by the African Development Bank, and the partner actually uh, was able to raise uh, huge funds from uh, the, the, the project using mm -hmm. the solution which we're implementing because they came to realize that it's a solution that cannot only be adapted to Cameroon, she had to actually export the solution out of Cameroon and several other countries were able to use it. And then it got to even have more uses beyond what um, uh, we were anticipating, which is a great thing about technology. Because now, within other societies, it is being used to be able to identify areas where there are heaps of dirt. Like we, we it's a common phenomenon in, in mm -hmm. a lot of African countries, Cameroon mm -hmm. not being the least Left of those. Left out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so areas where there are, there's heap of dirt, uh, you could just fly a drone over it. And if you go to some suburbs within Cameroon, there are some river beds where people have thrown a lot of waste there. And 
if there is even Hizakam there, he's going to, why am I even talking of suburbs, maybe even town areas, mm -hmm. there is Hizakam and Hizakam might not know that there is a heap of dirt here or there's a pile of dirt here. It's going to be difficult to identify. So just by flying a drone over that area, it's able to tell you that, okay, this a specific area, uh, this specific thing has actually been detected. It even goes way beyond that. And if you look carefully, you see that this can be applied in different diverse uh, uh, applications, Definitely. be it military for 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 so intelligence, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. Be it agriculture to be able to detect uh, large spans over your 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 your, your plantation where yeah, maybe your where Whatever. exactly. As long as you could uh, tweak the technology to recognize a different image compared to another one and to give it the data that it should interpret these images from this perspective, it's going to solve the problem. So yes, I believe we are actually going a long way in solving these problems using technology and the clients with whom we work and uh, not just uh, clients from a business perspective, the communities with whom we work, they are extremely satisfied with the kind of solutions which we are bringing as we leverage on the technologies. So again, we just look at the problem and then we imagine whatever technology it is we could use to solve that problem, we bring in it and then we solve the problem using that technology. In the business world, technology it has a lot of money and you need to spend a lot of money because if you're talking about electronics and stuff, it's, it's really, really expensive. Like, tell us about that part. Like, if you want to open a company or whatever, you have to have uh, electronics and what it's, it's a costly area, right? It is. It's so, it should be prepared. Mm, not necessarily. It is a very costly area, but you know, um, technology, you've gotten, uh, there are diverse, um, there are diverse aspects of technology, some are expensive, mm -hmm. some are cheap. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some which are expensive in terms of equipment which you're going to be getting. There are others which are expensive in terms of the manpower and the yeah. skills which you're going to be getting. Yeah. However, uh, nobody should feel discouraged getting into it because you could actually begin from anywhere. The, the first company I created, technological company, which still exists up to today and is still very profitable up to this day, I started it while I was in the university started it with two classmates and we had literally zero resources but we were able to pull it pull it through now you mustn't begin a technological firm with a large equipment with the expensive equipment you could begin something as simple as a software company a software company everything you need to build software is just a computer and your brain Beginning a software company, you got a couple of people whom, uh, with whom you think you like, you'll be able to create that kind of a company. Now, um, for you to be able to compete within the market and to grow to the level where you could actually be an industry leader, yes, it's going to now need a lot of huge resources. It's going to need a lot of manpower. It's going to need a lot of um, heavy, sometimes heavy equipment, depending on the industry in which you're going to be. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case, just like with every business, if you want to scale, um, majority of the times you're going to need tremendous resources in terms of finances, in terms of uh, manpower, in terms of human resources. So um, I think it goes without saying. Which is more important? Is it the manpower or the, uh, the, the capital first? Like when you want to get into something like that, do you need like intelligent people who can focus on that, who are aware of what you're doing or you need the capital to get the things first before? Which, which do you need to go for first? Hmm. Um, I'll get back to economics and uh, if we look at the factors of production, mm -hmm. um, if I remember my economics teacher well, I, he doesn't really say which one was more important <laughs> than the other. <laughs> I think all of them, <laughs> <laughs> all of them because are you extremely... you need to to use the machines. You, you do, you do. I, I think all of them are extremely important and I like what you said, you need the brains to use the machines. If the mm -hmm. machines are, are there and they are not They're brains no to use definitely. them. But if the brains are there and the machines are not there, <laughs> it still wouldn't go. So, um, but within, within the African context, and just because I don't want to uh, make anyone have any mystification about technology, if you got the brain, it's extremely important. Now, you just need to align with someone who's got the, the, the business mastery to be able to bring the business side of it you could have uh, the brain to uh, develop something which is going to be groundbreaking and which is going to be great, but you're going to need maybe something extremely expensive to be able to do yeah, that. Yeah. Elon Musk is flying rockets to space. If we are not having a lot of people <laughs> in Africa developing rockets, it's probably because we don't have the financial Financia. capability <laughs> to compete with such a company. And, Everything you need And have rockets that are, we're going to destroy 20 of them, 30 of them without even blinking. So. Sometimes you're going to need someone with a business, most of the time, or probably all the time, 
it's recommended you're gonna need someone with a whole lot of business acumen to be able to help you that person could even come and get you funds from areas that you never knew existed mm -hmm. you never believed you could get them mm -hmm. so raising of funds for a business is a very 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 huge area which we shouldn't uh, underestimate. So why are we coming into technology with our brains? We should know that we should have these uh, uh, business people, business oriented people, business focused people who are going to be able to come and then bring the other resources we are going to need. Sometimes you don't know how many of your family members, if you just do a uh, fundraising and buy a couple of drinks and some food and call them around and say, I'm starting this kind of business. It's really sad because a lot of scammers have grown in our society. And if you do that, they yeah. might think you're a scammer. Yeah. But People if, are frustrated. <laughs> if, you trust, if you're trusted in your family, do that. Try that. Just one strategy, which you don't have to do any business plan or anything. Talk to them and tell them that I came here to raise funds. If you guys can and, and be able to explain what explain the points like because you should not call people and you are unable to explain what you, you be able to explain and convince ex people ex about ex it exactly be able to explain it convince it to uh, convince them that's just one of the things that someone with uh, very high uh, financial intelligence is going to be telling you that you could do for example they could uh, there are so 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 many investors out there who are waiting and looking for uh, businesses to come forward and let uh, look creative for them yeah. yeah there are so many grants out there and uh, the people giving out these grants are just waiting for a company to show up there are so many offers there are so many scholarships there are so many there is a lot that you could get into and it tremendously enhances your business but just because if you focus on just the technological side of things and you do not focus on i'm going to say it again every other factor of production for you to be able to come up with a business is going to be very difficult you have a business which is gotten a very amazing technological product but you can't go to market mm -hmm. and even if you succeed to go to market you don't have someone who can actually run the marketing for you someone who can actually scale the business someone who can do business development and bring to you other partners and other clients you're going to end at that level so it's a really holistic approach when you want to get into business and technology you don't just need to be somebody who's really great in technology and then you think that just because you're amazing you could build a lot of great things you should just get into uh, the business of technology we should remember it's the business of technology it's not technology mm -hmm. so if it was just technology all right uh, maybe you wouldn't need the business side of it but you want to succeed as a business you want to uh, make your financial you want to make your finances grow you definitely need to align with somebody who's very good in business or you yourself, why not you become good in business as well?